Hey, hey, crypto family. I'm Nemesis with the Crypto Brothers. And uh, did you guys see that earlier? YouTube went down for a minute. You know what didn't go down? Just, just, just saying. Did not go down. I'm just saying. <laughs> but enough shilling. But uh, yeah, finally off of work. Thank God. Um, and then went through trying to figure out my new PC build and figuring that I think I've got a bad motherboard. Um, I've got a Threadripper uh, that it's a 1900X CPU. Went to go put everything in. It won't post. And I get an uh, error code of 07, which is microprocessor post posting. I don't get it, but everything's pointing back that either the uh, motherboard or the CPU is the issue. I don't have another motherboard, so I'm just going to start off uh, warranting out the motherboard. And I've got an Zeus uh, ROG Strix uh, 399X board. Uh, RMA was actually pretty easy with that, so I'm happy. That's a good thing. Get that back, and hopefully that's the only issue that I've had and everything else will be good and I'll be able to get onto a better computer that won't have such laggy video <laughs> I've been trying to deal with this I know it's just my computer 13 years old but with that being said let's dive into what uh, some of the technicals for today but with that I'm not your babysitter do your own research And uh, you guys heard about Ethereum's uh, Constantinople hard fork? Well, faces consensus issues in testing. Looks like the, the miners aren't completely on board with this. And it, for anybody who's GPU mining uh, or ASIC mining, this is going to affect you if they implement this because they're going to be dropping the block re uh, reward. And which means that people who are expecting a certain level of profitability are going to be looking at other projects to point their machines at for profitability. Uh, which means that there's going to be more competition on some of the smaller coins. Uh, unfortunately, probably the first one's going to take a hit is going to be Ethereum Classic. But let's see what uh, this one uh, has to say. This one's uh, from uh, Cointelegraph uh, by Helen Parts. I like the artwork on this one, actually. Actually, it's this way. Little two-headed dragon. Any, anything with dragons, I love dragons. And an alleged consensus, consensus issue in testing of a planned hard fork of Ethereum called Constantinople has caused a test net to be not usable, according to a tweet from Ethereum blockchain infrastructure firm in Furo. And Fura's tweet also advised developers to use other testing network while Ethereum's developer community is investigating the issue. As a report by multiple Ethereum developers, the hard fork became active on the Ropestein testnet on October 13th at block number 4,230,000. We're, we're human. They're going to make bad code. It's going to happen. That's why they have the test nuts so that they can figure this stuff out before it goes live. Uh, j just like, uh, yeah. Oh. As a clarification following the strong statement, Shodan noted October 14th that most of the recent Ethereum core developers called the developer had agreed they would not be able to activate Constantinople this year if there are not if there are any major issues on Ropestein. He also added that there that the next scheduled call on the topic would be held Friday, October 19th. That's in a few days, actually telling the community to stay tuned until then. The Constantinople hard forks is a system-wide Ethereum update designed to increase the network's efficiency. This year, earlier this year, Ethereum developer Piper Miriam opened an Ethereum improvement 
protocol EIP suggested the idea of a part possible Ethereum hard fork to invalidate ASIC miners, which are regarded as highly centralized. At press time, Ethereum is trading at 197, down about 1.5% over the last 24 hours. I mean, I don't care about price action on that stuff, but they're they're going to have issues with with the uh, with the code. It looks like, and it looks like it's going to push Constantinople till next year. I'm hoping that actually um, this way everything kind of stays the way it is uh, for a little bit longer. Let's other uh, projects get their stuff in check. Um, to allow more GPU miners to come on board. There, there's got to be a home for all these GPUs. Um, it's not going to be the death of GPUs if whenever the uh, uh, Constantinople finally gets implemented. It's just going to mean that there's a lot less coins out there that are not going to get dominated by the GPUs now, which in some aspects it's a good thing um, for these smaller coins. Um, and other aspects for the for the at-home miner or people who are kind of mining at scale like myself It's gonna it's gonna affect our bottom line when all this happens. It's not gonna be right away It's gonna take a little while, but I'm kind of hoping that the Constantinople Holds off just a little bit longer uh, Allows me to kind of collect my coins the way I want it to be um, Until that gets implemented and it'll also allow me to research other projects that might be a little bit more speculative um, but might be profitable at the same time so at least this will allow me I'm gonna I'm gonna have to stay tuned to this one I mean they're gonna be getting back together on the 19th it looks like which is just a couple of days away and uh, definitely stay tuned because if they postpone this it's gonna give all the GPU miners a little bit longer to, to keep their miners pointed where they're at and then also start looking at future for next year, uh, what they're going to plan on doing uh, whenever Constantinople does get implemented and they do derail the ASIC miners off of theirs because those ASIC miners, they're going to go somewhere. There's a few other coins that are on the uh, the F hash, the, uh, the F hash algorithm. Uh, so... Hope everybody's ready when this happens. I'm kind of hoping that all the miners that are part of Ethereum kind of push this back and make sure that this doesn't happen. But that's just wishful thinking. But what's your thoughts? Drop them down below. While you're down there, smash the like button, hit the subscribe, the bell notification. Share this video with all your friends that are thinking about mining. Uh, maybe some information that I have is going to help them out. And with that being said, guys, I will definitely see you on the next one.